what it is what it do girl of your boy girl here and today we are playing the elder scrolls legends because they have some new new a new expansion it just dropped uh the 29th which was thursday uh and it's heroes of skyrim which is based off the game elder scrolls skyrim surprise surprise um I've, i i was actually suggested this game by a friend of mine who had been playing for a while he's a really good player um, he knew that I have been playing card games forever. You know, I play Pokemon now. I play Yu-Gi-Oh. We play Hearthstone. So he recommended me this game, and I gave her a try. And uh, I actually enjoyed it. And I came in a perfect time because with the new set that just dropped, they introduced dra uh, like a lot of different dragons. I I I've loved dragons since I was about like seven years old. So dragons is my thing. And they also pretty much introduced ways to make dragons even stronger. Uh, taking out some abilities from the actual game uh, the ability that I use in the dragon deck that I'm playing because it's a pure dragon deck pretty much um, is a bit ability called shout which is insane you pretty much take some out of your graveyard it costs the same amount of uh, um, what is it magic magica I guess is what, how you say it and uh, you give it uh, plus one plus one on level one plus two plus two on level two and then plus five plus five on level three which is <laughs> so uh with this new expansion there's also a hundred and fifty cards that they added to the game which if you ever played a tcg that has a lot of cards and uh this is a sponsored video and i hope you guys enjoy it so with all that being said let's get into some gameplay all right let's go guys let's get it as you can clearly see me my avatar that that's that's pretty much me at 40. that's exactly how i'm gonna look at 40. the beer is gonna be gone we're just gonna have a goatee like the best goatee in town. I'm just going to shave all my hair off. That's me at 40. So I had to pick him as soon as I seen him. Uh, this is a pretty eh, hand, you know, it's decent. You know, when you have uh, the uh, magic, <laughs> I don't know why I say it like that. It just sounds so fun when I say it like that. Uh, when you have that cup ring, whatever you want to call it, uh, you can be a little bit more greedy because you do get three of them. Uh, unlike in some games where when you go second, you only uh, get one or you get like an extra draw. Uh, in this game, uh, you get uh, extra mana for uh, up to three times. Um, you're going to use one at one at a time, though. It, it'd be pretty much unplayable if you could do all three in one turn. Because then, you know, you'd be dropping a four drop going in turn two. It'd be insane. And uh, what I like about this game, because I've like been playing about a week. You know, it's a nice, it's a it's a good free-to-play game. It's, it's, you know, something to do when you, when you have a moment and you just want to chill. And just, you know, pass a little bit of time. Um, the artwork on the cards is godlike. Like what? What? Oh yeah, this is a pretty simple turn. We're we're just debating between a three four or two five. Like you know what I mean? We just thought three four better stat line. Trades better going into three drops. You know, trades in three threes. Um, if he puts out anything too crazy, we got the two five. We're gonna drop next turn. Uh, to protect the three four. Um, <sighs> we probably won't get any dragons. Like you know, with the, with the elf I just played. Uh, whenever you play a dragon, you get uh, plus four health. Um, it's so early in the game, it kind of doesn't really matter. Um, because this this is a, a bit of a slower deck. Like, you know, you, due to the fact, like, the five ruins are pretty much like I have potentially five trap cards that if you, you know, blindly um, attack into, because the way it works, each time you lose uh, life in increments of five, uh, you know, 25, 20, 15, 10, and five, it pops a ruin. And so when it pops a ruin, if it has the ability prophecy, uh, it's pretty much like, ha ha, you activated my trap card. Um, I know, I know that's, that's the, you know, that's that little taste of Yu-Gi-Oh right there. Um, and so when that happens, you know, prophecies do all types of things. They can heal you. They, uh, summon creatures. Um, they can just do damage, uh, as far as like, it can be like a spell and it'll do or an action, excuse me, and it'll do damage. Or it could be a uh, an action that destroys a, a minion or any creature that you would like. So, ooh, he's again, he plays the same thing as me. I wanted to play the same deck. That'd be that'd be kind of interesting. Um, so you know you have to pick and choose when you go in. And so what I've learned uh, with playing this deck, because I'm still learning it. You know, I'm not like no, no boss or nothing with it. Uh, this is just an easy peasy trade because we're at three man. Plus we got the um, mango. Uh, ruby i don't know if that's necessarily a ruby um so we can easily just you know pop it trade it burn the ruby put the guard up just in case because our guy will be at a three one oh no three two sorry because he does do minus one minus one um or we could just not do it as well and keep it and try to 
push it later. Um, but yeah, so you have to be careful when you go all in. So with this deck, since it is a bit slower, you know, tortoise in the hand, uh, you use your your health pool with, as a resource. So you just let people uh, beat you down a little bit. Maybe you're lucky and you, you know, put it. There's not too many prophecies in, in this deck. But maybe you got a prophecy in there that can help, you know, fight back for the board. And so you just, you know, that's the give and take. And then once you get into the mid to the later game, that's when you start just spamming out these huge dragons. You play this guy with them. Uh, and all of a sudden, you're gaining four life each time you play a dragon. And trust me, these dragons are, I don't know. I don't know if you was paying attention to the beginning of the video when I was highlighting some stuff that happened. But, yeah, dragons are, they are, they are good. Also, we play a lot of different uh, mana accelerate. Oh, not mana. I'm sorry, uh, magic key uh, acceleration, um, just to help us get when we get to the turns with the bigger dragons. Uh, we're ready to uh, pretty much just shove it down the throat. You know, that, I'm, I'm about that life. Um, here we're in a, a decent position. I mean, he gets a little extra value because we pull up the one one to you know, accelerate. Um, but you know, we're not in too bad of a position. Uh, you know, we have a, a dragon in our hand who does a minus two, minus two on any minion we see fit. Um, once again, we still have the extra coin. Uh, with extra ma uh, magic. And so, yeah, I, I kind of like this because that's a seven, seven. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a dragon we heal, but we ain't even took no damage to start with. So, I wonder, like, what's the max amount of health you can get? I wonder, like, can you go past 100? That'd be pretty cool. Be sitting there like a thousand health, like making somebody's life a living hell. You just sitting there healing for like 60, 70 every turn. And like this infinite loop of you'll never kill me and I'll never kill you until you deck out. God. Don't you just hate those decks? Don't you just hate when you're sitting there trying to have a good time? Trying to have a funky good time. Dun, 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 dun. And somebody, you know, is playing something like that and you're like, you know, why, why are you playing solitaire right now? You know, so I, I don't know if that exists. I hope it doesn't. I hate those decks personally. Uh, once again, like I said, I'm new to the game. I just picked it up over a week ago, um, but it is fun. I mean, and like the artwork is so good for the cards. I mean, it is just like, what? Like I've been looking at these cards wondering like, uh, so uh, what you doing later? You know what I mean? How you doing? How your mom? You know what I mean? But so here, uh, Seven uh, magic to work with. Um, I mean, I want to hit him for seven in the face. And uh, the two five I just played whenever uh, prophecy, whenever I pop a ruin and it's a prophecy, I draw a card. So, you know, it kind of works good. Uh, they work very good together. So I'll pop two new ones prophecy. So that's kind of like a whiff. If they have been two prophecies, though, I would drew two cards, which helps me get to mana accelerations, helps me get to bigger and better dragons. And just helps me uh, in the long longevity of the game. We'll take the easy peasy trade there. Um, back to uh, how does I think it's a how do you describe it? It's a tear up card. It's like when you play the first one, it does this. When you play the second one, it does that. Like the first one does minus one minus one. The second one does minus two minus two. And the third one does minus two minus two to all enemy creatures, which is pretty insane. Um. So, I mean, I say level up, but I don't think it's a level. I think it's, I want to say it's a tier. I think tier is, is the correct term. I'm just like making it, you know, good for me. And I want to call it level, so it's level. You know what I mean? Um, it's one of those situations. Um, I mean, we still dominating right now. So we're just going to push it down the throat. I love this card to me is insane. It summons. And it's uh, Last Grasp, which is, you know, if you've played the game, you know, it's pretty much like a Death Rattle or uh, that's pretty much the only thing I can think of. A Recruiter, if you play Yu-Gi-Oh! or something like that. Um, so pretty much uh, when you play it, it draws you a card and you decrease the cost by two. And when it dies, it draws you a card and you de decrease the cost by two. When you're playing a Dragon deck, that is amazing. Because, like, there's, you know, Dragons in this deck that cost 12, cost 10, cost 14. And anything that can reduce their cost is hella good. Uh, I was also thinking about uh, placing in um, the uh, the dragon card. I can't I can't remember the exact name of it, um, but it does. Uh, the only problem is it turns all cards in your deck into dragons, 
and they have one less cost, but it's random dragons. So you might, I'm not saying, I'm not saying there are bad dragons, but not all dragons are created equally. That's what I am going to say. Um, so I thought about playing it. It seems like a good card. I don't know. I probably have to do some testing on it to like see because the deck has such a good flow to it. Um, that I don't really want to mess it up by trying to get like two dragony. Um, I mean, we have like no pressure right now. Like it's, it's, you know, we just, we're just strolling down the yellow brick road right now to grandma's house. We go. Um, so he, he takes one of our, well, pops one of our ruins. I mean, it's totally fine. Um, that necklace is an amazing card. Cause once again, the, the reason the necklace for me, in my opinion is amazing is because of the fact that you use your health pool so early in the game, um, with getting set up in a sense, um, that just with a dragon, it's 14, 14 or something crazy. Like those 10, 10 dragon, you put the necklace on him, He gets a plus one, plus one, and he gets drained for the turn. One attack, you just gain 11 health. You pretty much back in there. Uh, I was uh, playing with cartoons earlier. Uh, and uh, that literally decided the game in one game was the fact that I was able to heal for 11. And if I wouldn't heal for 11, I would have died. Um, too bad. Like, I can't show you guys that footage because it got messed up. So, boo. Rip. Rip the rope. <laughs> um, look at that. Minus two, minus two. And it's permanent. Like, that dude's stuck there forever. And minus two, minus two. Just, just a paperweight. Just a nice little, pretty little paperweight. Um, one, two lethal on turn two is like, like a, for two calls, a one, two creature that can kill anything. It's just, it's amazing. I mean, look at the value. Look at the value that we're getting there. I mean, it was a bad play on his part. He should have threw in the two fill and kept it. Traded it up in the social gap. But, you know. I'm not, I'm, you know, he played the way he want to play. I play the way I want to play and I play like a champion. Not really. Though. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure the comments are going to be filled with, oh, you could have done this gorilla. Oh, you could have done that gorilla. I know. Give us some time. We still learning. Um, lethal. You must be cleansed. Yes, lethal. Um, so we're getting there, right? We just warming up, you know, it takes a little while. You know, you don't, you don't become a legend overnight, which I think this system uh, cause I was pretty much almost at rank eight or rank seven. And then I started playing some weird goofy deck that I had found and I, it, it didn't do too well. Oh, so that was a good one. Uh, I suggest we get into another one. All right. Look at me. The forgotten hero. Please don't forget me y'all. I'm a hero. I am a hero. Um, Yes, pretty, pretty simple plan. We'll keep the ongoing because uh, once we get to see, I'm torn here because our ongoing is, you know, it's not a win. Con well, I guess you can consider it a win condition. I mean, something in the eight, eight in each lane, it's pretty much a win condition. Um, once you get to 15 mana, but it's mana acceleration, which is also good. Um, so I don't really know if I should mulligan for mana acceleration, like in it not included. Or, you know, it's just one of those like like weird situations. We'll just keep it because once again we're going second, so we do have, you know, turn two into turn three, which just puts us on turn three because it does accelerate by one mana, um, which is good. I also like the fact that once they do it, it's kind of like they can die and it's okay because you know they're, 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 it's their summon. The summon is to give you one mana, um, so that that's good. It has security, I guess, is what you would call it. Uh, once again, going right back into the uh, mana acceleration, just to put us on six on our turn. No, it puts, on, puts us on five, because we're accelerating to four. And then, yeah, it puts us on six on our turn. Yeah, 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 I was right, okay. Math, man, math, man. It's 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 tricky sometimes. Um, Yo, that card art looks so painful. Look, like he about broke that dude's shoulder. It looks like he he was just a patron at a bar, and, and you know he got a little unruly. You didn't have to pop his shoulder out of the socket. Jesus Christ! Um, uh, once again, just just a basic setup. We're just setting up for better trades on our end. Um, no real dragon series yet. Uh, we do have our, our eight eight that we're probably going to accelerate out next turn. Get a draw. Uh, we'll get two draws unless uh he plays some sort of silence. Um, once again, if if I'm like not saying names, it's because I'm like not really 
paying attention to the name. Uh, um, and if you ever see me like pull up a card on on the screen, it's because I need to read it because I don't know what all the cards do. Not yet, at least. Uh, we're still learning. Big dragon, big dragon. No, I always want to pull a big dragon with her, or at least something of equal cost, or either her into her. That that'd be pretty awesome as well. Uh, because of the fact, you know. That, that's pretty broken. You know, she pulls herself, so then her second one would cost six, and then you pull something else. So you would draw two cards. I mean, you think about it, you're paying eight mana to reduce uh, four in cost of cards and draw two cards. That is insanely good. Um, it's hard for me to believe, like, like, are you real? I almost want to act like, like, yo, are you sure this is a real card? Like, you sure? Like, you, you didn't accidentally, you know, let this one loose. But then I look at other cards, I'm like, oh God, well that card's amazing too. So I think you did this on purpose. I think you knew exactly what you were doing. So we got two of our uh, ongoing set up and each one, whenever we get past 15 mana, um, well, once we hit 15 mana, at the start of our turn, when we hit 15 mana, we get uh, a eight, eight in each lane, which is insane. What does that do? Oh. For the Emperor. Huh. All right. Well, I knew I had saw a creature that did that. Uh, but I mean, it makes sense. They got a spell that does it too. It makes sense. So, uh, well, that one's that's down. We were on eleven too. We only have four turns to go. We were right there at it. Um. So, I like the fact all my, my most of all not all most of my dragons are all nice and shiny. So you know, we'll take this little trade over here on the concealed side. On this on the regular and then we'll get in for three damage because what we're going to try to do is uh because he took away uh the keyword from our other guy so um that means still he still has his ability that if we pop a ruin and it's a prophecy we'll draw cards so if we can start popping ruins and potentially a couple of them be pro uh, prophecies we Let's can uh, start getting a little advantage on our end of the spectrum That's fine. Okay-ish. Uh, a lot of different directions we can go this turn. I really want to pop a ruin and hope it's a prophecy. Um, and maybe get the two draw. Yeah. I might be too greedy. That literally might be too greedy. I'm sorry for the yawning, guys. Yeah. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just go this way. Cause you you don't ever want to like give give too much, you know what I mean? I want I don't want to give too much to a card in a sense. Like just start throwing away perfectly good resources that we use later, just for advantage. When advantage could still get me screwed if he drops a fourteen fourteen, it's indestructible with guard. And I'm like, oh man, I could have silenced you like if I wouldn't have wasted my silence on that three three with guard. Obviously, I didn't know what he did, so I had to read him. I don't know what blood cards are. Hopefully, they suck. Oh, if they're really good, I'm probably in trouble. So please. Uh, I like this this guy because he's just a quick trader. He's a nine nine with charge, and he when he dies, he makes a four four. Um, I mean he's a six six. He's a nine six six with charge, and when he dies, he becomes a four four. So really, he's a nine nine for this ten a ten ten. He's nine cost, and he's a ten ten with charge, or half a charge. I don't know how you would describe it. I'm just saying stats wise, he he's he makes sense. So we pop that. That is a prophecy card. So that means we will draw one next. What do you do? Stop. Okay. Okay. Slay is pretty cool. I didn't know how Slay worked exactly. Ooh, two prophecy cards. Um, but Slay works like uh, cause I discovered it, you know, in the middle of the game. Uh, whenever you kill something, it gets plus, you know, whatever. You know, it, in this case, this dragon gets plus two. Uh, so on attack but it stays there so i had shouted the dragon back out and he came out as a uh it was a shout level two so he came out as an eight six and i was like what and i was like oh <laughs> that moment of clarity when you're like oh my god this is amazing slate is amazing um so because you know once again i'm still learning the mechanics and everything of that nature i don't know if it's new or old but i know it was a 
I mean, we still win, but still, it's not like the cool, sexy fashion that I wanted to. Um, but I don't know. He's putting up a, a good fight here. Um, we have. Oh no, no, we have at least one board. Let's see other guards. What does that do? Oh, okay, okay. That was that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool on his part. All right, all right. I ain't mad at you, bro. I'm not mad at your brother. Um, so we have a cool lethal setup, unless that's a prophecy, and it is. So okay. All right. Yeah, we had a cool lethal. Uh, that was just like a just basic rune. It just went to his hand. We could have silenced our three one, who was a uh, shackled, got in there for lethal, and uh, been done with it. Um, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, sink him down, get rid of him. He gets plus one for his uh, support. And I'm pretty sure that's game. I think we're just going through the motions now. So I'm pretty sure the fat lady singing, the curtains have been called and this game is over and we're going to get the win. So thank you guys for coming through, checking out this video. Also, if you're interested in playing this game, if you're interested in Elder Scrolls Legends, if you want to check out some of these new cool ass dragon cards, the link will be in the description down below. I'm having a ton of fun. If you want to play against me, it is Gorilla Fence. So feel free to shoot me a request and let's get some games in and rule the world with dragons. So as always, I hope you guys have a great day and be blessed. Peace to you. Love you guys. Later.